All right. Hey, we're live. Yay. Yay. It's book club night. Yay. You know, honestly, when Martin Gale sent us a stack of books, these are the books I wanted to talk about. Good thing I paced them out. Now they're, it's finally here. It's finally here. I hope people can hear us. If you can't hear us, give us a holler. Crickets. I'm thinking that's good news. One hopes. So one would, one would hope, yes. Well, there's probably exactly. like a, a minute of ads for people to get through. <laughs> oh, really? Oops. Mm. <laughs> So, um, what you been up to this week? I haven't talked to you really. Well, no, I saw you Wednesday night. Yeah, we spent like four hours God. together on Wednesday. I was so busy. I made you laugh so hard you cried multiple times. That's true. That is true. Now that I remember this. I don't even it's remember about just, what. You've had me working on this new pattern. By the way, it's um, I put it out on Drive so it's ready for you. Oh, Yay. Fancy. I Yay. like it when I get done with stuff. Thank you, Carmelita. I like it when I get done with stuff and then I can just go here. Pam. Did you get all of the AI files? And it's out there too. All the things. All the things. All the things. EQ8. I, all the things. All the things. All the things. I told you I did it. If there were a spreadsheet entry for this, you could totally check it off, but there's not yet. Ha. I know. That's why I didn't put the pattern number on it because <laughs> I didn't know what the pattern number was. Oh, I don't even think it's on that. Mm -mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll look it up. All right. I'm ahead of the spreadsheet. This is a first. Everybody mark it down. Lynn is ahead of the spreadsheet. Now let's forget the fact that she skipped a bunch of stuff she was supposed to do and just did this, but I'm ahead of the spreadsheet. I would be ahead of the spreadsheet if I had put on the spreadsheet. Live in accounting hell and taxes. <laughs> just dwell. Dwell in tax season for about three weeks. It's cool. Yeah, I, I am blessed <laughs> that I don't do that. So anyway. So hello everyone. Hi, Hi from, from Nashville. Uh, yay. So I'm glad I, people can hear us and we didn't have a bork up like, you know, yeah, before. like before We're still like, like our normal gig, which setup works for the new computers. <laughs> I think yes. we got it. I think so too. All righty. So we're here to talk about fat quarter friendly books. Yes, we are. Did you bring some? No, you're just going by my stack. Okay. So I have a book that is labeled as fat quarter friendly, but I could not in good conscience recommend it. Wow. And here's why. Okay. So when you're looking for books that are touted as fat quarter friendly, I have found there is a subset of those books that is fat quarter friendly because they expect you to go in and cut up all of your fat quarters from the start into certain sizes. And then poof, you have no more fat quarters, but you have all these pre-cut scrap sizes. And it's like weird things like one and a half inch by, you know, 12 and a half, which, okay. But like, I don't know why I wouldn't, that's a very specific size to me for a quilt. I, you, know, you can put three of them together and make like a rail fence or three and a half inch block. But okay. So I don't think it's good from the perspective of, oh, I was just going to use some fat quarters <laughs> versus I'm going to cut them all up into scraps, which to me, that would just be a scrapbook. Or a no, scrap I think that's book. a good point. I don't think I thought of it that way, but I think that's a good point. Yeah. Now, I have to admit, I haven't looked at the Martingale books yet because I wanted to save it. So you get my live first opinion. A live reaction. A live reaction. Um, but I did put in a secret book that I forgot to give to you for you to put in the show notes. So is that last or first? Let's do it first. Let's break the tape with the Let's secret book. Let's break the tape with the secret book. And the reason this shouldn't really be a secret book, and I had a hard time finding it, is because it's one of those books that's a uh, really thin and it doesn't have a bind. So I it's couldn't. It's more of a booklet. It's totally a booklet. But I would say that this pattern is the number one fat oh, quarter yeah, pattern. Go. I know what it is. Of Got a secret. all time. And if you don't have a copy of this pattern, it's a good fat quarter go to pattern. And you use the entire fat quarter. And there's not that much cutting. And there's not that much cutting. Well, this one, actually, there's more cutting than the original. Because I don't have the original pattern. I just have the um, the secondary pattern, which is the second book, which is called Turning 20 Again. Mm -hmm. The original book was called Turning 20. Um, this one has more than just that in it. But I, um, classic quilt for fat quarters i think also i think that this is successful because if you have got any kind of sports fan 
or any kind of significant amount of novelty fabric that you need big chunks. Turning 20 is, I, it's a great, Huge. it's a great pattern. <laughs> Huge. It's a good pattern for that. And this one has, you cut it a little bit more, but you can see she also has other ones. That's the original Turning 20 book. Yeah, I have that one. Um, this one just has a little more cuts in it, but it's just, it's really Ooh. good for such a wide variety of fabrics. And I just think anything with a big print, mm -hmm. this is a great pattern for. Absolutely. And I think so, particularly I see someone throwing out a little University of Kentucky. I assume that's what the UK is and not United Kingdom. Yeah. Well, honestly, Sandra, no, she's, she's, <laughs> She's re referencing. I made a turning twenty yes. qu quilt out of University of Kentucky fabric because that's what my nephew loves. So. And even if you only have like three of the novelty prints for that specific sports team, oh, yes. you could still come in with a lot of other blue and white prints. Right, and exactly. It still works. Totally works. Um, I just think this is great for any love of like for a a a toddler who loves Peppa Pig. They don't make 20 Peppa Pig novelty prints, but you can get three and then you can get other prints that go with that mm -hmm. and it'd be really great. Yep. So uh, to me, this is a classic fat quarter friendly. I don't know if it's the original, but like this just like a first quilt. Yeah. If you're a beginning quilter, good pattern to start with. Well, a lot of my frustration with fat quarter patterns or fat quarter books are like awesome i'm going to use a fat quarter and then you end up using like a third of a fat quarter and you're like great now i have two-thirds of a fat quarter left and it's like some weird l-shaped piece and do i fold it back up and put it back in my stash with the other fat quarters and trick myself so then i think oh good i have a fat quarter of this fabric i could use for my next fat quarter quilt and then it's you open not, it up and it's not no Half my fat quarters in my stash are that way. They're yeah, not real It's fat a quarters. real problem when you go to do like a fat quarter swap with your guild and you're just like, let me just pull out some fat quarters and you get there like, oops. That's happened to both of us actually. And you got to put a little note like I owe, I owe you, you a fat the rest quarter of a fat quarter. Because I cut out of this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you know how I've avoided that is I've just pulled yardage and cut a fat quarter for the swap. That way I knew it's a fat quarter. I go through the painful exercise of like pull it out, unfold it, like mm. <laughs> even like the fat quarter swap. Do I want to give it our, up? Do you have a heart? Yes. I was like, here is the equivalent of a fat quarter or more. Yeah, she didn't give me a fat quarter. She gave no. me pieces. It worked. That you got if it. how many they blocks were out of that? Four. There you go. Pieces, but only four. I could have had more if it were a real fat quarter. Um, well, you saw what I had left from what yeah. you gave me because all my is fussy cut. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I, I'm I'm a little protective of my fat quarters. I don't like to give them up. So I'd rather cut up yardage to give away because I may have only bought one fat quarter. So I'm not giving that up for swaps very easily. Ooh. So, okay. Tracy says her favorite one is Quilting Season by Debbie Caffrey. And, and Debbie's really good about um, yeah. cutting instructions, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So which one okay. do you want to do next? Uh, uh, surprise me. Okay. So this is Fat Quarter Frenzy by, by Susan Perny Mark and Daphne Gregg. Um, and I took a class from Susan. So that's kind of why I have the book. And I have two that she did. But oh, and, it's signed. Signed, and it's signed to me. Hey, happy quilting, happy quilting. But it's one of these where you kind of it's kind of does what you're talking about, though, where you cut yeah. it up into certain sizes mm. and then make a quilt from that. If that works to make the entire quilt cool, but otherwise, yeah. I'm a little I'm a little hesitant because now you just cut stuff up into weird sizes that may not be what you. Right. Need. But she does give a lot of. Hey, listen, my biggest screw up for a quilt when I bought a kit was I didn't read the instructions on how to cut the fat quarter. It's my shocked face. So I had to buy two kits to finish the freaking quilt, which then became a king size, by the way. It's gorgeous. 
it's just bigger than originally designed. So, um, but she does, it's, you know, um, it's a book that focuses on how to do fat, how to use fat quarters. Um, not my favorite, honestly, book, but, but it's got a lot of cute designs in it. Um, cute designs, fat cute quarter. designs, fat quarter. Yeah. But usually it's just two or it's a limited number. So, and she does tell you how to cut the fat quarter up, which is important in some of these books. Because if you cut the fat quarter, you've only got so much fabric. And if you cut wrong. Yeah, if you cut lengthwise instead, instead of crosswise. Yeah, you can mess whoops. it up. It can mess up badly. But it looks like you got another of her books. I do. And I want to talk about this one. And this is Fat Quarter Frenzy 2. So it's the second one to this. And again, I took a class from her and I bet this one's signed too. Maybe not. Mm, there it is. Yeah, it is. There you go. Um, and honestly, it's just more of the, I mean, there. I like this one better, actually, of the two. I think the designs of, are more interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a book that uses fat quarters. So. Two, two. Okay, let me ask you a fabric selection strategy. Yes. For fat quarters? Yes. <clears throat> All the fat quarters. That's my when selection you make strategy. A, well, okay. When you make a fat quarter kit, are you working or a fat quarter quilt like from one of these books? Would you pick a bundle or would you build your fat quarters from scratch? Oh God, I build it from scratch. Yeah. I mean, unless, unless, unless the bundle has been curated by the shop and not the manufacturer. The manufacturer. Yeah. Then I'm interested in it. If it's been curated by the shop, it's not matchy matchy. And they've pulled from several different manufacturers of bolts in their store and curated this bundle. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. Um, if it's been curated just from all cuts of one, I mean, I'll buy those, but I'm not going to make a quilt with just that. Yeah. Because for me, it I want more interest and I don't want it to look like anybody else's quilt ever. So what do you think is the right proportion? So when you're doing a quilt like any of the ones we've shown so far, whether it's a tw turning 20 with like big chunks of fabric or it is a lot of the fat quarter quilts are blocks without sashing lots of times. Yes, I agree. Because it's hard to cut sashing out of fat quarters. Yeah, it kind of is. Um what per, what I know you need a range. So like light, medium, dark, don't just get all mediums or it's gonna just kind of yep, you muddle, gotta have a it's light, gonna medium, muddle dark. out. Yep. What proportion Feel would like you guess? Crazy. No, this is like a what's your advice on this? I okay. Know, it always comes out as a quiz. That's just my face. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not. We talk about this stuff all the time. All right. Third a third a third, light, medium, dark? No. I wouldn't do a third a third a third. Mm -mm. What's more important? And I and, wanted to and, keep me warm. Okay, no, that's I not what I'm not asking. Be ugly. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. What's more important in the feel of the quilt? I mean, are you going for a? Um, you want this to be a light quilt, then light's more important, and put more light in it and less dark. If you want it to be a warm, rich, deep quilt, put more dark in it and less light. So I would. I would err on the side of what look are they going for? What look are you going for? But I don't like it even because to me, again, that's predictable. And I'm not, not in that. I mean, I can do that. And there's nothing, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. If you do a third, a third, a third, guess what? It'll be successful. It'll be great. It wouldn't be my choice. Yeah, because if you have... If your fat quarter quilt is made up of blocks with three fabrics in each block, each block has a light, medium, dark, and then you get to play with is the dark in the background or in mm -hmm. the center. And, and when you start putting those together, it does really interesting things visually to create movement in the quilt. Right. So if I've got more dark, the light's going to pop. If I've got more light, the dark's going to pop. So it just, what am I looking, you know, what am I... 
I don't know. What's the feel of the quilt that I want to have? Orange. Orange. They should all be orange. <laughs> As per Anitra. Yes. Orange. <laughs> orange. <laughs> that is yeah. good. <laughs> Doing a turning 30 for Ooh. my king size bed. All right. Yeah. I, I, turning 20 and turning thir uh, turning 20 patterns are just classic, I think. But Especially get, for beginner quilters. And I think they're, you know, you get to practice on your quarter inch seam. You get, you know, they're good. And they I think, too, good. depending on how adventurous you're being, if you're quilting it yourself, when you get a turning 20. Yes. What you can do is say, okay, for everywhere, you know, these three specific fabrics appear, I'm going to do this design. Right. In that's quilting good. and then everywhere else just gets like a background filler yeah because that gets you a little bit custom a little bit you're easing into custom quilting but and you don't have to like commit to the whole you don't thing. have to pebble the whole thing god no don't pebble the whole thing no. do not do not i mean like big thing. pebbles like dinner dinner plate size pebbles but you need smaller than that in yeah return. no so, don't yeah. pebble and Hey, listen, we love pebbling. I personally have done it has several a place in my life. It does, and it's beautiful, but you will get 10 minutes in and go, oh dear God. Pebbling like fish and house guests stink after three days. Oh, after 10 minutes. And then you think, why did I do this? <laughs> why did I sign up? Then you hope. I mean, yeah, you hope the book is good that you're listening to while you're doing it. Or you hope the uh, Hamilton. I'm in the middle of like a 60 hour audiobook. What? There's, That's not like you. There's like 76 chapters in this thing. Wow. Is it, it may good? not be 60 hours. It may is be it like good? 45. I'm 40, 45 is the longest I've done. But all the outliers like are 40 could, and all the she Game of Thrones. An editor. She could use an editor. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's like she described the fields more than once. That's what I, they were walking. I was like, all right, cool. I get it. She's wearing a gown. <laughs> it's made of dragon hair. Dragons what are you listening to? Uh, Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. She wrote uh, this other series I love called The Bone Season. Oh, okay. And she like interrupted her work on that series to like write this standalone epic fantasy novel. So I was like, well, I'm in. <laughs> but she needs it. I'm still, I'm like, oh, oh no. <laughs> so I had to like take a break, listen to the like, three days worth of podcast to catch up so they wouldn't accumulate and gather dust in my pod catcher. <laughs> Go back to the book and I'm like, all right, what happened to the dragons? I know. I, I was like, I think I need a guidebook. One of the series I watched on Hulu or Amazon, whatever. I'm like, what happened last year on this? I need to go back. Is yeah. it? Um, I'll think of it. Dang it. We should probably get back you, to quilting. I know. We should get back to quilting. Let's get back to some quilting. We'll get back to some quilting. Okay. So those <laughs> are the two. Um, let's look at these um, Martin Go ones. Or do you mean to do the other two that I have? It's up to you. Well, you're going to give me one of the Martin Go ones to flip through because you've got to touch all the books so far. I oh, know. And that will stay that way. No, let's talk about this one. <laughs> I love this picture. I do. It's a, I, I mean, I'm attracted to the colors in it. I think they really pop because of that medium gray in there. I think they really pop because of the screen and the beautiful orange. You would, of course, credit an orange with that. Of course I do. Um, this is just classic designs. It does use more than fat quarters because there is some sashing. Sashing. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, and it's got a lot more background. But fat quarters are the focus of it. For the people in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love. It's got some nice stuff in I, it. I like how they did the table of contents. Yes. So let's put that under the camera so that people right. can see. Right. So you get an idea of the block. Right. That you're using the fat quarters mm -hmm. with. Yeah, I think that's really cool. And this one's called uh, Fat Quarter Favorites. Fat Quarter Favorites. 13. And it's one of their newer ones. It's out this right. year. By Karen M. Burns. I don't know Karen. Maybe we should meet her. We know a lot of good Karens. I do. This double dutch is cute. Isn't that cute? Oh. Oh. Now this is, again, this is kind of an all medium to dark quilt. Yeah. But the but, yellow makes it. Right. But this is what I was talking about is what kind of look do you want? Because this is like a warmer, richer quilt yeah. because of the dark. This you is the palette that really resonates with me. Me like, too. 
really rich, Whereas saturated is, colors. You know, it's a lighter quilt. Mm -hmm. So you're using lighter fabric. So what are you going for? That's my, that was my question. There you go. Ooh. That's kind of nice. But look how the dark just makes that, the black and that's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, this is on the side. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like jewel boxes. Yeah. So I have a question for you. Do you like, um, do you like doing the same block over and over and over again to make a quilt? Or do you like doing different blocks? Hmm. Um, because a lot of fat quarter books, uh, you find that they're one or two blocks in the same quilt. They're the one block repeated or it's two blocks that kind of go together. I mean, that seems really common in a fat quarter book. You don't see a variety of different types of blocks. And, and I understand why it's because of limitations on limitations because size. of the cut. Yeah. The fat quarter. But they do tend to all have that kind uh -huh. of thing. All right. Not my favorite, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. I like some of the others better. Yeah, I like the quarter log cabin. This one's cute. Classic. Square yeah, see, square. now with that one, I would have flipped a couple of the blocks where they've got the light. I would have put like a dark in or something else to give it a little yeah. more variety. But that may be limited to... Yeah. You buy the fat quarter set and then the background <coughs> is one color. Now there's see Ooh, this it's very is dark. A dark. Oh yeah. Yeah, but very cozy. And then that's the one we both like. Mm -hmm. Tic tac toe is what this one's called. Mm -hmm. And I like it because it's the X's and O's, of course. Mm -hmm. It could be hugs and kisses too. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then this one. This is just that yeah. one. Yeah. Well, and that's an an inverse of color right. where they've got their arrive or that flipping light and dark. And I think you'll find a lot of fat quarter bo books do that. They'll make you make the same block, and then you buy a background color, mm -hmm. and then you either do it with the positive and then the inverse, the negative of it. So you asked me a question, but I, you didn't actually let me answer it. Oh, what a question did I ask you already? If I make a lot, if I enjoy oh, making yeah. quilts with a lot of the same blocks over and over. Yes. And I'm going to, okay, let me guess. The answer to this is yes, she does. The answer to this is maybe. Ooh. It depends. <laughs> That's like my answers. It depends. It depends. What so, do you mean? So when I am making quilts like that, it is because I am working from someone else's patterns. I find when I am doing original designs, that is not how my design sense manifests. Mm. I would love to design an awesome two block quilt that looks amazing. I have yet to do it. <laughs> I think I have a couple of times. <laughs> the oh. next one is fast fat quarter quilt. These are fast. Fast. Oh, I see why. Super fast. Why do you see why? Because well, it's a lot of very classic shapes that you can knock out real quick with some chain piecing. Oh, that's up your alley. Oh, see, so like a little fun coin quilt. Yeah. Let's put it to the people. Let's put it to the people. <laughs> and this one is thinner too so it's more like a booklet yeah now this is kind of i like how martingale does this yeah don't you? i do they really get those nice graphics at the front so you can kind of see real quickly and what's our rule for buying a book i have to like at least two of the patterns in it or else monetarily it's not worth it because i right. can buy two patterns for 20 bucks 22 yeah. bucks but a book's gonna cost right 18 22 24 that's enough. i like that I think what's nice about fat quarter patterns is they're simple enough that the, the, I think they don't intimidate newer quilters as much because you're not committing to like yards and yards and yards of the same fabric, but like, but they're very satisfying for more experienced quilters too, because you know, like, you know, you got fat quarters, you're going to go in, you're going to knock that out. Right. But also they can look so different depending upon the fabric chosen. Yes. So this is like really, you know, uh, maybe child's very spring, mm -hmm. you know, I could do this in dark 1800 reproduction fabric, look totally different, but still just as easy to do. You yeah. know what I mean? And a border treatment like that is nice because you're not committing to right. 
having to have yardage of the same fabric, you can cut it from this across the grain. I kind of yeah. like that one. That one's super. I like that. And that's just a simple, nice block, mm -hmm. you know. But this is one. Oh, and you know what else I like about this one? Yeah, border. Cute, cute, cute border. And it's easy to get borders out of fat quarters, but if you piece it, you can't just do like, let me just cut a long border out of a fat no, quarter. That math does not it. work. No, it never works. That's kind of neat. Old not under, manly kind of enough. <laughs> well, okay. I like the name. It's funny. And then this is your your yeah the coin quilt. Coin quilt. Oh, look, they got circles. That's a little modern. A little modern thing going on. A little jaunty side action happening. That could be a stoplight. Totally different thing. That'd be cute. No, but like that could be like a fun city oh, quilt. Oh, yeah, but like think that's a stoplight and then do all these little car or yeah, stuff. Car for, oh, yeah. Kids would love that. That'd look great. That'd be amazing. Awesome. All righty. Come back in the seat, Lynn. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Well, the <laughs> camera. Sometimes it's like just me hanging out by myself, like I shoved her out. The Bye camera guys. over there is it's a little a bit. Show. Yeah, it's, it's kind of far. It's I don't have really long arms. I'm not real tall, so we know I don't have really long arms. And I'm trying to make sure I'm not. I'm shuffling and not sh showing the same book over and over. All right. So, um, but I do. I guess, and I'm kind of addicted to fat quarters. I'll I'll be honest. Yeah, she is. I like a good fat quarter. I do buy them quite often, but I do buy them for you know these stupid huge quilts that I do that you I want all the patterns, over. and I may just want this much out of it, you know. So, and then, but I'm gonna buy a fat quarter because that's it's, it's not the least amount of fabric you can buy but for what we do it's probably it's a regular thing. habit now if we're out together at a fabric shop and i buy something oh can i have some of that <laughs> i do but i just want a little bit to fit in these quilts so anyway yeah but i give you fabric yeah Which it all evens out it totally evens out so anyway so other people like fat quarters too Yes, we will all. A friend of ours shop actually officially closed yesterday. So we Go won't out all of be business sad. sale with less than 20 bolts of fabric left. And they're like, yeah. shut it down. Shut it down. It's done. Yeah. Um, you can cut them up. I, I, you can cut them up. Just you have our permission. Cut your fabric quarters up. It's, it'll work. It'll be good. Um, buy more fabric. Yeah. I think that's true. That's well, what we other, all tried to one do. One of the other ways to show love to local shops is to take classes there too, which absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Support local teachers. There's a lot of great local teachers. I think. I mean, that's where I learned classes from local quilt shops. Yep. My uh, voice is getting rough. Oh yeah. Well, I've talked. All Lynn's day. been out on the road. Yeah. I just, I have to be careful with my voice. So, you want to do the next one? Okay. Fat quarter. This is. Quickies. So, we've been fast and now we're quick. And that could mean so much more, but we won't go into that. So, here, I'll let you look at it. I get to look at it. Also, a Martingale book. Oh, yeah. This just is the last Martingale book. <laughs> oh. See, now this one reminds me of big old chocolate pie. Chocolate Ooh. peanut butter pie. There you go. See, I was thinking coffee mugs for some reason. That's cute. It's got some cute modern stuff, too. I think it's got more modern stuff than some of the Ooh. others. You can take but it to the people. I, I mean, is this fat quarter when it's... I mean, you're buying several of the same... Hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a liberal so, interpretation of I, fat yeah, quarter. Yeah, me too. That one, for sure. Yeah. I mean, this one, yes. Like, that's a I like how they called it peep holes and not murder holes, like we would. <laughs> For context. Yeah, as I say. We went on um, this. Let's go back and review exactly what that was. We went on this tour of historic homes in Marietta, Georgia that get decorated up for Christmas and they select like five, four or five different historic homes that are then open to the public for public tours. And there was this one house that I'd been wanting to go in because they literally built a turret on the front and like the long skinny windows. 
And uh, they're called murder holes. They are. Because in the medieval times, that's where the archers would look out at and like fire. And you did want it really big so they could get yeah. you back. So yeah. you had these little murder holes, but they called them peepholes. But so. this is a less murdery quilt right here. Yes, not so much. A little more like jail. Nine like we've patches. caught you and we've put you behind bars now. Behind nine patches. <laughs> so smorgasbord. Um, I, I like this one, but this one does have you cut up. Yeah. But this just, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's yeah, back let's up. back it up. Back it up. This tells you how much you can get oh. of each size, which is a great reference. That is good reference. That's a good reference. What do you get out of each, you know, fat quarter kind of thing? Um, our stripper's knot pattern that we did, I actually, it's it's um, very fat quarter friendly. I used, actually I used fat eights. I used 40 fat eights, mm -hmm. but we've written a pattern where you can do 20 fat quarters or 40 fat eights and uh you use the entire fat quarter and you cut them into three and a half two and a half and one and a half strips and you get two three and a halves four two and a halves and four one and a half inch strips out of one fat quarter or fat eight no fat eighths you would only get one two and two gotcha math now the one behind us is actually the nope quilt that i designed but instead of the solid blue in the middle like we have on our cover quilt i wanted to see what it looked like with a little fun pattern it's cute it's pretty cute it's got a lot of stuff going on it's got a lot of look it does but that's really great for a you know, a fabric that you love yeah and you like, don't want to cut up i want a big chunk in the middle that i don't cut up that's why we also recommend it for panels but then it's 10 fat quarters that make the little diamond border and the pieced border, both the right. skinny one and the fatter one on the edge. And we bought those fat quarters, not this not set, this one. but the one in the original pattern. We bought those. Like as a curated bundle. As a curated bundle. And we were attracted to it because it was a curated bundle. Yeah. I like curated bundles. Okay. I have two more books. All righty. And they're not exactly... Um, what you would expect they're not classically they're not classically fat quarter books but um and i only have one i thought i had another uh book by this same author and they've written several of them they were kind of out of business but now i think they're maybe sort of back but under a different name i don't know but these are called buggy barn quilts and if you haven't heard of them they are a um a two they were either sisters or good friends. Um, and this is the buggy barn people. So what they do is you would, and that's not, they're very attracted to more primitive stuff in their books. And you, it's kind of a stack and whack and then reshuffle and sew them all together. And then you get this very, scrappy organized in almost it's improv pieced in a lot of ways because mm -hmm. it's a, just a whack you don't actually measure things it does not come out with it does even not edges no 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 no. you have to trim it up but i'm telling you they have so many really kind of cool patterns i've seen them do a lady liberty they've got stars they've got i mean this is a star yeah, they've done, I've seen tractors I've and seen, mittens oh, and just cats. like winter, like they did a all cute, the things. And I'm not, you know, a big Halloween fan, but they did a really cute Halloween one. Um, uh, where's some? Oh, that's a cute star one. Yeah. So it's, and there's a technique of how to do this. And, um, it's just, it's all this, it's, it's how you stack it and then reshuffle it so that you get a very, so that none of your blocks are alike. The blocks always match each other. Um, but fun class to take if, if somebody can, knows yeah. how to teach it, because it definitely, uh, there's a local teacher in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, and then there's the chickens. Oh, the, the chickens, chickens are, are fun. Cute. Yeah. So it is, it does tend to be more primitive, but I've seen it done in not primitive fabrics that are adorable. I know she's done a Christmas one um, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, so uh, thank you. 
Yeah, well, I didn't uh, think they were uh, anymore. Perhaps Grand Myrtle Beach fan, Grand MB fan. I'm not sure what MB stands for. Grand mother uh, fan. I don't know. Mm, we'll find. Maybe she'll Grand tell us. eight. No, great. Great. Grand. Uh, <laughs> the mystery. We have no idea. But thank you for your comment to let us know that it's now yeah. one sister designs because it's one of the two sisters left. Right. Yeah. So, but uh, they have several, several, several versions mm -hmm. of the same technique. Yeah. And great. Um, books, yeah. So if, if you, you can get them, I think they are. But I think they're under bug, Buggy Barn. If you can find Buggy them. Barn or One Sister Designs. Yeah. And I bought this one for the Liberty Star and haven't done it yet. Oh look, the snail trail. That's cute. Oh, great, Dave Matthews band fan. Thank you, DMB. <laughs> Man, we butchered. We that. were under the table and dreaming. <laughs> We butchered that one bad. Ooh. Ooh. Good times. <laughs> so, but look, like there's a pineapple. You could do great Hawaiian fabrics with that. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of fun. All right. So, they it always uses fat quarters to start with, which is why it should be a fat quarter book. But it's not. I don't think people would normally think of that as a fat quarter mm -hmm. book. So, but the, a series of those, they're really good. Um and don't let the their choice of fabrics that they're attracted to, if you're not primitive or like the reproduction fabrics, don't let that distract you from these designs because I think the designs are are could work with a lot of modern stuff. Oh yeah. And look it, fabulous. I mean, it's like when you are shopping for a house or an apartment or a new place to live and yeah. you walk into a place that's decorated not to your taste, like ooh. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, have a little imagination. But we know that there are a ton of people out there that don't. That's why those all those decorating house hunting shows exist. They're very oatmeal-y. They they're like, oh, I couldn't do this, and then they repaint it, and people walk in and go, oh, it's gorgeous. Anyway, all right. There's a bird outside with some feelings. <gasps> oh, you're not <laughs> okay. So, does anybody else have this episode for the past? Three days. There is a robin in our neighborhood. That a bird, we've, not we've a got, weird person named Robin. Correct. A, a, a male robin bird in our neighborhood. And we've got one of those two-story entryways where it's got the window on top of the front door. Big, you know, oval. How, anyway. So this robin has been flying into it for three days. And he sits on the ledge and he just hits the window and hits the window and hits the window. And so we looked it up and apparently he's seen a reflection of another male robin in the window. <laughs> and he's defending his territory and has been doing it for three days. <laughs> and the dogs have barked at him and <laughs> he is not deterred. So now there's this all these little Darwin marks. steps in. I am telling you. You probably don't need to reproduce. I still, we like, don't need to carry this He's going to be line worn forward. out to be able to reproduce. <laughs> I'm like, so <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Well, he's going to show up looking like Owen Wilson with a smush nose. Oh, he keeps. And if you look on your way out, like you can. Oh, the little. There's all these little spots where he's like hit the window. Poor guy. I keep, so what I've done, I don't know how helpful this is because you're supposed to like get out there and put soap on the window oh, to dull it, to dull it so that they won't see the reflection, but it's like up 15 feet in the air. Like I, I can't get out there and there's not a great place to put a ladder to get up there. So I stand on the inside and this is, I don't know if this is helping, I stand on the inside and throw dog toys at the window. <laughs> so it's all fun and games till someone puts an eye out with the dog toy. Lynn. No, these are all stuffed animal dog toys. So they're not Covered like balls. No, 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 no. The dogs are way past like killing all the stuffed animals that they have. So is he, is he to a nature's point? Is he perhaps 
leaving some deposits while he's there? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can't see that ledge. So, but it was like, wow. Heck of a time for it to stop raining. Yeah. <laughs> so the Robin is very insistent on either is getting into our house or, and if you go out there and look at him, he flies away and looks at you like, get away. I'm going to get that guy. That guy's got it coming. He's going to get it. Oh. Yeah, so for three days, we've got a Robin hitting the window. And then he's done. We've got the, the door with the side things. He's yeah. done at the bottom of the side things. I'm like, and there's the dogs can see him. That's when they start barking. So he stopped on the side things, but he's still got the top window he's looking at. I don't know. Birds. Birds. What are you going to do? <laughs> there is, it does give you, I mean, bird brain may mean something now. Like, seriously? Anyway, all right. Anyway, we got one more book. One more book. Finish strong. Surprise twist, everybody. Yeah, and I kind of like this because I think it's it's uh it's a great book for what it is. But it is Bing Fat Quarter Bags, hmm. and it's a great bag book. Hmm. Hmm. How and big a you, bag can you make with a fat quarter? Lynn? Well, and you, know, you use more than one fat quarter, but um. But aren't that, isn't that cute? That I mean, it's got cute. some cute bags in it. And it's got really good instructions on how to do zippers. And you can do um, lots of different projects. And they... they Captain America shield. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody needs that. I don't know why that's not a... Um, but it, it goes, a, it does a, a lot of different techniques, a lot of pictures. This, I just think, is a great bag book, actually. Cute. For your books. Swag bag. Um. coin purse but so this was i just think this is super cute the little suitcase mm -hmm. and it goes you know you do piping in it and nope piping is the devil's flourish lynn <laughs> <laughs> but it has great instructions really good um pictures of how to do it so if you've not made bags before this is not a bad book to own for bags and it's based on fat quarters so there you go that's so my surprise go. twist you can make other things aside from quilts with fat quarters very exciting i agree tula pink makes some of the best fabric for bags i like her stuff and i like uh it's gone alexander henry I like his stuff for bags or their stuff for bags. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. They do all the really funky, big novelty stuff. And all the sexy firemen and <laughs> sexy do, patriots. They do the sexy <laughs> pinup girls. The pinup girls and the, yeah, those are Let good. me tell you something. I <laughs> got some of the sexy patriot fabric and I forget why originally. I don't have any of it. Oh, I was making a bag for someone. The best. And like a ha ha ha. And then I had leftover fabric. And back when we were still doing the the white elephant exchange for my husband's family Christmas, I made a set of potholders with like the leftover sexy Patriot fabric. And they were swapped for multiple times. As much as the giant knife in the leather sheath that like said bad a asterisk asterisk <laughs> those were the top coveted gifts that year i could understand giant that. knife and some sexy man potholders <laughs> one of my very favorite quilts <laughs> backings i've ever seen was a quilt in our guild that um it was one of the writing ones and it said she was a good girl until she started quilting or mm -hmm. something like that and then you flipped it on the other side and it was the the sexy men with the gardening tools or what farmers <laughs> she I was guess. a nice girl until she started quilting that was it she was a nice girl until she started quilting and i thought that's a perfect backing <laughs> that was just 
classic. I feel like if I ever make a quilt for a coworker, that needs to go on the back. Because there's some. I was with. Well, I was at. It's good for a shop, and they were assumptions. ordering fabric, and they ordered that fabric from Alexander Henry. Is that right? Am I saying that right? Is that I the think, right? I think it's them. Yeah, I think it is too. Um, and it didn't come in because it. You know, they only make so much, and they never got it. So I was sad. I was like, I was going to buy some. <laughs> I didn't get it. Okay, but here's the trouble. What? What's the trouble? Because then I. I end up with chunks of fabric left and then I cut it up into my scraps. And then all of a sudden I go to <laughs> pull a scrap out and I just have like a crotch, <laughs> a crotch scrap. It's not See, this is why you don't cut it up into scrap. There are certain fabrics. Maybe you shouldn't cut up into scraps. I'll never forget the fabric. You, I just had abs on one too. That was <laughs> like, here's some abs. Here's some abs. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A little like so, cute guy with a pipe. <laughs> You're just like, what? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. Uh, there are some fabrics you shouldn't cut up into scraps. Or you should, just for the discussion value. <laughs> I spy <laughs> some abs. <laughs> Where are the abs in the quilt? And there are some <laughs> there are some fabrics that may not be as good at one block wonder quilts. Just saying. As our friend slash producer discovered, because yes. she did she did a the... certain set of superheroes. And then when it went kaleidoscope, it was spider crotch. <laughs> it's good times, guys. It's good times. Or, you know, and I'm not just saying those. The flowers. I'm not just saying those, but like when you're doing bunnies or whatever, or dogs, you cut the heads off of them. And oh, I told you I wanted to do an entirely animal butt quilt at some point. <laughs> I think that's kind of legit. <laughs> <laughs> All butts, nothing but. There you go. That's the name. And nothing but. That's what you're gonna <laughs> name it. That sounds like our brand, really. <laughs> I can't argue. Step one, fussy cut 200 bucks. I literally wrote today in the newest <laughs> pattern that we have that this could be a Netflix and chill quilt. Be careful. That's what I wrote. I figure it'll get edited out. It's probably out. not going to make it in the final copy. I know. It will. It'll get edited out. <laughs> nope. I knew it. <laughs> there may be a tiny button the next pattern that's coming out too because it's so scrappy. <laughs> No one will notice this little two-inch butt. I will look for it now and circle it and point it out. Put it on Instagram. There you go. I think everybody we says good business practice thing. like surprise butts. <laughs> we should probably not talk it. about this anymore. We got 12 I'm minutes. Gonna make, I'm going to make a Netflix and chill quilt, I think. There you go. People need them. Just saying. Couldn't any quilt be that? No, but I'm actually going to put it on the quilt, like writing on it. Anyway. Like piece I, or applique? Well, I you feel know like me. it's going to get a lot of washing. <laughs> Maybe it should be piece. Applique <laughs> would be easier, though. No, it wouldn't. There's all kinds of pieced alphabet books out there. We could probably do a whole <clears> book club <throat> on that, but I don't own any of those books. I don't either. <laughs> See, Anitra just learned what that meant. Mm -hmm. Oh, you had to look it up? There you go, Anitra. Now you know. There are consequences. They'll show you like baby onesies that said result of Netflix and chill. Yeah, nine months later. <laughs> nine no, months. No later. time for no Netflix. Netflix and chill. I mean, I binged a lot uh, of Law and Order when I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was pretty sure my kid was going to come out making the doink doink sound. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> like, I didn't watch no Law and Order, yeah. so. And then I started in what NYPD Blue. Watched a lot of that. Watched NYPD Blue. I watched Bodyguard today. I finished Bodyguard today. It was good. It was on Netflix. I watch a lot of Netflix. I binge a lot of shows on Netflix. I watched Dairy so, Girls. I haven't watched that and yet. Have maybe confirmed that I might be an Irish mammy. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> should I watch Dairy Girls? Did you like it? I did. It's very short. It's only it. like six twenty-two. Bodyguards was 22 only minutes, six minutes. Yeah, yeah. So I, I found it 
funny Finish that today. and meaningful. And, and because it's set in the mid nineties and touches on the conflict happen happening in Ireland that I wasn't as familiar with. Like, I know it's not a history lesson, but I appreciate having the context of like, oh gosh, when I was doing this dumb stuff in college, all this really serious stuff was happening in a different part of the world. Like, huh. huh. All right, wait, let's get back to quilting. Cause I have a question. Okay. All right. Here's the question. If you're going to make a fat quarter quilt, how many fat quarters do you think you need to buy? I mean, I, aside from like the pattern tells you you need 20. 12. You're going to buy 12? Like if you are looking for a cur curated bundle, 12 is a good number for you? I would say 12 to start because that gives me a variety for what I don't already have in my stash. And if I need more than that, I can supplement with what I have. Okay. I also know that my go-to fat quarter pattern uses 12 fat quarters. <laughs> but it's a pattern. It's not a book. That's it's the swoon cheating. quilt from Bonnie and Camille. That's totally cheating. It's legit. <laughs> 16. We got to vote for 16. I, I'm kind of, yeah, 16 is like four yards. That's That's a good number, I think. You know, that's a lot for a oh, the more the mom mean that eights, but it's a 40 different fabrics. And I think that's one of the reasons it looks good is because <laughs> four yards. Thanks, math. Yay. Hey. So 12, 12, I got 12. So I'm mm, me and Miguel. I like 16 or more 16, 20, 24. Yeah. But that's if you're buying, like if I'm buying, I got enough fabric. I just need to supplement with a theme and I oh, can bring in point. for my stash. Good point. Good point. That I was answering as a purchase. Now I may end up with 16 or 20 or whatever. I but, got it. Yeah. 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 That makes sense. That makes sense. And honestly, sometimes I only buy like five. And they're five prints, and then I know because my stash tends to be more tonals and solids. Yes, you know that I need to buy prints. I will say bring that in. ninety percent of my fat quarters are novelty or are like a thematic print or whatever. I don't buy a lot of you know blender stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a blender and a fat quarter unless I knew I was making a blue quilt or a green quilt and I needed additional of that to make it scrappier. Now I will say the quilt that I made that is a Mickey Dupree pattern you can get it on her her, her blog it's uh, the castle wall quilt and I did hand quilting on it you, that you did hand piecing. I did hand piecing on it you're right I didn't hand quilt that baby. It's king size she did not hand quilt it. I um I would go and buy like five fat quarters at a time just to make one block because I wanted the, all those fat quarters to look to get good together. So I was purchasing like five at a time. Now there's tons of fat quarters in them. I mean, pieces of fat quarters. It's not all fat quarters. Yeah. Um, I didn't use the whole thing. Ah, there you go. Yeah, Mickey strategy. I always buy at least two new yards of quilt to make it interesting and fresh. Yeah, of fabric, not quilt. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, I, that's a good. It turns into two yards hey, of quilt. Listen, Bonnie says if you use, Bonnie Hunter says if you use this much fabric, you get permission to go by that much more. So, well, that there's a zero sum game. Yeah. I'm like, well, I just keep adding. <laughs> I decided to actually quilt something this weekend. I haven't actually sewn in a long time. I have been um, sewing. Well, I got the pattern done and i think i'm going to change up the thing that you gave me though i don't think i'm going to do your thing i'm going to do my thing i'm going to put my spin on this pattern well that's why we designed together so you get lynn spin and you get pam spin and then it's spinny it'll be good though oh, it'll be awesome it's always awesome yeah, it only took us three years to figure out we should actually design together instead of like in my silo and in your silo. I know, but you still design the best patterns. I designed the best selling patterns. Yeah. You got one good one. You throw your bone. <laughs> <laughs> G 
she just never wants to do as complicated ones that I do. That is for sure. You you know how you make quilts? You make super simple quilts and you can finish them. <laughs> they still I keep people quilts warm. Take me a year, baby. So, Judy, we're glad you like watching us. Oh, we like having thanks. you here. Yes, I'm glad everybody hangs out with us. You know, I don't know that we would actually get together and talk about books all that much if we weren't doing this. That seems like one of the few things that we never talked about before we started doing this. I know, and we should. Too. We talked about everything else. Well, I like the books that we had tonight too. Yeah, I like I like the Buggy Barn and the and the the Martingale <laughs> ones that they sent us were fun. Tossing your crumb. Thanks, Good one, Mickey. Yeah, <laughs> I usually get toss crumbs, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> it's how we roll. It is. It is. I usually get kicked off the set. After you get bigger a chunks if time. you paid attention to the spreadsheet. <laughs> we got to update spreadsheet. Um, I might change out of a spreadsheet into something new. I really no. just blew her mind. No. <laughs> no. It'll be fun. Yeah. You could click and drag things. And there'll be colors. Oh, really? See, she's now I'm interested now. in it. We could coat all the Lynn stuff orange. <laughs> we could coat the Lynn stuff then, orange. Then maybe she'll she's pay in. attention to she's it in. And, and, and do it. Oh. What color do we want to assign Mike? Oh, gray. Gray? Gray. It's his favorite color. Gray is his favorite oh, color. All right. Like a deep gray? No, a battleship like a gray. battleship gray. He reads all the... You know, see, Peggy really wants a Netflix and chill quilt. We're doing a Netflix and chill quilt. That'll be my next Wee. one. Wee. Everybody will need one. We got. What? We got three. We got the next three planned out, I think. I know. Because I got that one submitted to the magazine and it's been. I don't think that months. one's going to go. Think they, I don't think they're getting I back think, to me. I think we should just like <laughs> own it. Get back to me. I think we should own it. That's not going to And go. it's a fat quarter quilt. Oh, man. Hot diggity. That'll be real so. meaningful in about six months when this comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. If you guys knew <sighs> how we're holding this together by string and duct tape, chewing gum. <laughs> To mom spit, <laughs> polish it up every once in a while. Uh -huh. Anyway, a little bit of the bee dance. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> what are we doing here? So I'm speaking this week or next week. I'm speaking. Oh, I've is already that why spoken. you didn't want to unpack the suitcase? Yeah, I was like, girl, she was, the suitcase. <laughs> she was like, let's hang up this quilt. I'm like, no, it's in the suitcase. Like, We're not hanging up that quilt. She was like. Can't open up the suitcase. I'm like, because I'm speaking next Tuesday. I said that in my head. I didn't text it, but I no. bet you heard me say it in I my did. head. Like, I did. Because there was just like dot, 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 dot. You could tell you were thinking. <laughs> like, my side eye. I'm, I'm, not, like. <laughs> I'm not getting in the suitcase to get out a quilt that could be at the bottom of the suitcase. So this one got hung up instead of the one she wanted to hang up. Like, no, it's in the suitcase. It's fine. <laughs> Not what, uh, what day are you speaking? Tuesday night at the uh, Sewell Mill. Sewell Library. Sewell Mill. I added that to our calendar. Good. Because I got our guild newsletter announcing that you were speaking. And I'm like, it's not it's on our on calendar. There. Oh, it is now? I added it. No, it was on there before I put it on there. You know what? It uh, was on your personal calendar mm -hmm. and not on the Stitch Events calendar. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Hmm. No problem. Yeah. So it's up there now. Good. <laughs> if you're local in Atlanta, Lynn's going to deliver our What the Fabric lecture. Yeah, it's the WTF yeah. um, lecture, which is What the Fabric. It's kind of a quilt history of weird, kind of funny, weird, weird stuff that happens in the quilt world. So Yeah, so if you're around Marietta, Georgia on Tuesday nights, we yep. don't buy at 530 at the Sewell Mill Library. Yes, exactly. Or library, as we <laughs> might say. Library. <laughs> yep. Come on. So, and I'm doing it um, just once. They uh, We offered them a few dates and they just said just once. We were going to do a couple of local stuff. Yeah. We were like, Thanks. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. Well, it's eight. <gasps> it is eight. It's so. eight. And basketball's on people. <laughs> yeah. I'm a basketball fan. So, you know, I've been watching Sweet basketball. 16 stuff. No, it's not there yet. The sportsing? It's sportsing, yes, but it's not to the Sweet 16 left. It's just the first round was today and yesterday. 
and my team. You've been won. talking about a lot of brackets. Both my teams won yesterday and today, so my brackets look good. Got all excited thinking they're talking about Poisson brackets. They are not. No, it's basketball. So Do you even Tennessee know what Poisson and bracket is? I don't. It's those little squiggly looking curly ones. I have no idea what you're talking about. There's a whole Georgia Tech cheer about them, man. E to the X, D, Y, D, X, E to the Y, D, Y, secant tangent, cosine, sine, 3.14159, cubits, cubits, poisson brackets, disintegrate them, jackets. And with that, we're do done. Do you want to hear the Good bird night. state? <laughs> Wait, I can do the bird and state. And we're done. Wait. Bye-bye.